You walked yourself in. I'm ready for the trip's over. Oh, this is looking really good. We're getting a nice high cheekbone there. Thank God for that. Bake. Bake. We're going to bake. We're going to get baked. Proper baked. Bake a bit. Bake. Wake and bake. <laughs> so, I'm just going to get this powder. Look up for me. So, eyes open. Look to the ceiling. Put that right underneath the eye like that. I'm just pressing it in. It's just going to set the concealer that we've done, but it also means when I do the underneath of the eye with some eyeshadow and liner, if any drops down, we can blend that in as well. Jamming. And then we'll get a lovely highlighted area as well underneath the eye. It's going to look a week. And then you can also bring your contour out a little bit by doing this. Looking incredible. Proper art. Proper art. And if you want to make your nose slimmer, it's good to bring the white a little bit up the nose. And it makes it look like you've got a smaller nose. Only time white on the nose is acceptable. Yeah. Say no to white on the nose, kids, exactly. normally. Have a gold and a white on the nose, just remember. I'm gonna go underneath the eye. Um let's use phone number by Mac. Really push up the Mac. Yeah, yeah. I do have a lot of Mac products. It's because I know the brand as yeah. well, you know, so I know what colours like I'm, I'm looking for and I know how to just go in and get what I want. Look up for me oh. again. We're gonna go this bit feels a bit tickly and I do apologise. Tell us if your eye feels like it's gonna water. I've got a little trick for that. If you just grab your nose there in the middle, it closes your tear duct. Eee. Like that. So you can do that if you feel like you're going to have a watery eye ever. Not worse than a watery eye when you've got your full face on. Oh no, it's a watery eye. So I'm going to go back and blend that a little bit with a little Soiva blending. Um, it's actually quite a little brush, but it's flat and fluffy. What's it called? It's actually called Sm a smudger. Oh, a smudger. Smudger. So that um, that bit of line has just framed the eye there. I'm going to put a little bit of eyeshadow over it to set it because sometimes cold pencils can be a bit too smudgy. Look okay. up for me again. I'm just pressing this on so it shouldn't be as irritating. And this just makes under the eye look really sultry and smoky. Oh, awesome. uh, I think eyes are totally like change a person don't they? They're the window to the soul Liam. Either are the window to the soul, <laughs> that's right. They are. So if you're showing off your eyes, yeah. you make your best one. Because I've got blue eyes but I, I, like looking at them you wouldn't say they're blue like. Well right now because I've used a little bit of a warm colour and some browns on there, they're looking really blue. Are they? Like blue as this. That's yeah. Because I, I tend to find blue eyed people get more cock. I mean, that's just the word on the street. Well, I mean, yes, I mean, I, w I wouldn't know because I'm a virgin. Uh, yeah, yeah. And I've got brown eyes, so I didn't get any. Has your lad got brown or blue eyes? Blue eyes. Oh, I see. Yeah. In the best. I know. Well, I think because I've got dark hair and dark eyes, I'm used to looking at my dark eyes. So I always, I've always liked men with blue, blue. blue eyes because it's different to what I've yeah, got. Yeah, no, definitely. Yeah. You know what I mean? Otherwise, it would be like. Oh, well, exactly. Well, exactly. 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 Right. I know Chris is very handsome. <laughs> yes, he's gorgeous. Um, but yeah, you do look like him, so yeah, you don't want to. I know, I would be like literally looking in the mirror. Yeah, uh, yeah. Right, so we're going to do a little bit of liner on the top now. So I'm going to get you to, if you look straight ahead that way, I'm just going to work out where I'm going to do the wing. So we're going to do a little bit of a winged liner. So I'm just going to do a little marker there like that. And then it means when I get your closet eyes, I Is can this made famous from Amy Winehouse? Well, this has always been a thing, but she just loved the liner, so she... She did, didn't she? Closet eyes there. Yeah, she loved the liner. And I started copying off and having mine even extra thicker as well. Just to go with it, Amy, look. I loved Amy. No, she was mint, wasn't she? Mm-hmm. 
Does it feel odd having all this on your face, Lee? Um, I don't say you're used to it, are you? I'm not used to it, considering I've had a beard, so... <laughs> it's going to be, uh... No, it doesn't. It doesn't feel odd? No, I don't know. Nah, I think, I don't know what it would be like, like, full night. Yeah, keep your eyes closed. Well, obviously, I'm going to keep it on all night, too, to make sure. Yeah, I'll paint them on in this, like, ashy colour, because obviously the wig's quite light. Yeah. And then I'll do some, like, try and do some little hair strokes to make them look as real as possible. Do I want to do that or should I just go straight in and do them? Let's have a little bit of colour on it. Now brows make your face don't they though so like they do. So what's these HD brows? Tell us about So H HD stands for high definition. Right. It's actually a brand. Okay. So they, they actually sell brow products. I think they might have makeup as well. When you're training HD brows, you learn how to like wax, I think the wax, the tint wax and thread your brows. So you get the full treatment right. and then your, your brows are tinted as well, so. Oh, that's Who let the dogs out? Oof. Oof. That's some, people get the, um, the like little brow, lace brows mm -hmm. that you can stick on. Ah. And I've never seen those before until I watched a few videos. Um, that video you sent me as well, which she's done on that. Oh, did she? Yeah. What does it look like? So, they literally like, well, they literally don't just look like a stick-on brow, but they're dead thin. Do they look realistic? Really realistic, yeah, so I'll have to get some. That's cool, isn't it? Like, I remember when we used to go out and stuff, nobody even wore lashes or nothing then. Yeah. I started wearing lashes and nobody wore them when I first started wearing them. People would have looked at you thinking, what the hell's going on? Spiders are on Spiders on her friggin' face. <laughs> How would you see with them? And then I'm going to put a little bit of highlight underneath them. Right, let's go for them. Right, so. So. A little bit, I'm going to use this little, nice pinky kind of. It's actually, but you know Brett Man Rocks? Have you seen him before? No. So he's a good little artist as well. I've heard of Jeffree Star. Yeah, yeah, brilliant. I've watched him since the MySpace days. Oh, really? Yeah. I've put a little bit of highlight under the brows. I've used like quite a pinky tone actually out of this Brett Man Rocks Morphe um, highlight. Show me in. Highlight. These, these, a lot of people know what these lashes are actually. They're all over Instagram. I'll just um, show you. Show us the lashes. I'll show you. Woo! What are they? Ta tatty lashes they're called. Tatty lashes. So they're like mink lashes, yeah, made with Brazilian hair. Actual Brazilian hair. <laughs> yeah. So, there's not a baldy Brazilian person walking around. There will be. <laughs> Crying. But, uh, wow, so they're still like, like years ago they used to be like, um, I'm just going to size them up, close your eyes, yeah, keep going. Keep they used to be like, just like one size fits all almost, didn't they? Not like, lashes or brows? Uh, lashes, sorry. Yeah. And But now it's like you're cutting them, you're putting size in them. Yeah. It's a bit more individualised, isn't it? Yeah, definitely. Well, different lash, lashes as well suit different eye shapes, I think. Like, where I look at the way someone wants that eye. Right, I'm just like sizing that up, so open your eye there. Feel strange? Well then, huge. Oh, nice and thick as well. Oh, I like it nice and thick. Oh yeah, we like it thick. Girthy. What type of channel is this? I know. <laughs> so guys, we are in the um, bathroom in case anyone's thinking that this is a different room than normal. It is, uh, but the lighter, the light, the lighter, the light was better in here than anywhere else in the house. You've got to have good light. You do because in the sitting room it's more orangey and glowy, so it wouldn't have worked. No, have you wore lashes before? No. Have you not? It takes some getting used to, especially yeah, ones as big as these. <laughs> but, uh, so they feel a bit heavy and stuff, but you will get used to them. I think it's worth it. And it is worth it, totally worth it. Pain is beauty. Definitely. Um, but, what was I going to say? Yeah, you're not allergic to latex, are you? Oh, no. <laughs> you would know if you were. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I mean, I am a bear backer, but... <laughs> So I probably wouldn't know that. Well, yeah. I'm sure you've worn rubber gloves before. I've worn rubber gloves to clean. Yeah. <laughs> right, what we're doing, and that's what I want to know. Exactly. <laughs> Straight in. Right, I'm going to wait for the glue to go a little bit tacky before I put them on, because sometimes they go on a bit better then. 
while I'm doing that, I'm going to pop a little bit of nice blush on. Oh. Right, so I think I'm going to go pinky because you wait to pink. This is a Barry M blush. Actually, I've had this for ages, so. Now, I've tried nice the Barry M before. It's very, very pink. What's the oldest makeup brand, like, that you Ooh. know of? I know that's putting uh, you on the spot, but. It, um, was it not Cover Girl? Is it Cover Girl? Max Factor, maybe? They're, they're the, like, big dogs on there. Max like, Factor, from yeah, ago. from years ago. But actually, I can't remember what the brand was, but some, do you know that used to be a mascara, right, years ago? The mascara didn't come in like what it does now. It come in a, in a flat palette like that, and you used right. to have to put water on it to activate it, and then use a little comb. Really? But people used to just spit in it. Oh, <laughs> oh disgusting. So I just put your spit all over your eye, that's lovely. Went a bit full on with the blush, which is what we want. And then I'm going to blend that. Oh, smash oh, the bathroom up at the same time. I'm going to blend that baking powder in as well and just soften that contour on the nose a little bit. So I'm going to overdraw the lips, so so that we get a nice full, full lip. I'm going to go for pink, obviously, pink to make the boys wink. Mm. Are you at Liam? I've never seen you look so more glamorous. Actually, what's your name again? It's Melinda the Finger. Melinda can I finger. Mel Melinda can I finger you? Maybe. <laughs> That's not the one. <laughs> That's the one. It's got a ring to it. <laughs> She'll have a ring out of it. Oh, you're such sort of pink mind, Lee. Do I? You do. So, yes. It's definitely your, your shade of pink. Because I thought um, the world's your oyster with some of them palettes. <laughs> exactly. But people don't tend to do that, do they, with makeup? They like stick to what they know and what they look like. Mm -hmm. Yeah, a lot of people do. Like? I mean, you've got women who are like in their 50s and they're still wearing the same makeup that yeah. they wore when they were. Yeah. In their twenties, and I, th I, I mean, I've had to change like foundations that I've worn and things, like loads of times because well, it they get better, don't they? they get yeah, like... you get better products come yeah. out, and just need a bit more concealer there. Just tidying up. You know, don't fall asleep on his mind, there, Liam. I'm still with Susan. Us. How do people see with these eyelashes? Like, yeah, are there, are there health and safety issue? Mm hmm. They're all basically healthy. I mean, you could take off if you were on yeah. a windy day as well. And I mean, you know how they say, like, but if a butterfly flaps its wings in, in one country, it causes a tsunami in another. So at least you could be causing tsunamis. Yeah. I mean, it's possible. <laughs> it's definitely, it's definitely yeah. possible. It's all about Hurricane Jeffrey. <laughs> Hurricane, Hurricane Melinda. Melinda. <laughs> Monsoon Melinda. Yes, definitely that's exactly what's going on. This is a Delilah Cosmetics gloss. Mm. Smells nice, doesn't it? Unreal. Like berries. It does. So, I'm just going to put a little bit more concealer on there. Does that feel right? Yeah. Once you get the wig on, it'll be quite tight anyway, so. But if I... Right, let's have a little look. So we've got this beautiful, beautiful wood stretch with the uh, pink ends. Yeah, candy floss colours. We like a pink end. We we'll love a pink end. Yeah. So you see here, yeah, you just need to stick this part of your head into a little bit of that up. Yeah, that's perfect. Right, I'm just going to tighten this bottom bit because that's what you do to keep it on. Mind the in. What? Reminds me of putting a swimming hat on when I was younger. Does that feel too tight or is no, that right? No, not at all. And then flick your head back. Right, and then I'm going to position it. Oh. So what, we need it a little further back. There. Oh my gosh. 
You look at me. Oh, you look unreal. <laughs> right, so obviously we need to pull this bit round. So I'm just gonna do that. It's a bit annoying, isn't it, when it's in your face? <laughs> Tell us about it. <laughs> right. The problem with long hair as well is it sticks to your lip gloss on the wind. Oh, it's no fucking way. <laughs> so. Oh my god, I look like a Honestly, Lee, you're, you're pulling this look off. Something rotten here, like. Do you want to have a closer look? I do. Okay. Oh! <laughs> wow! I love it. Be <laughs> <Hey>, my god. <laughs> hey. How glamorous are you? That's unreal, that. <laughs> I think we need to pull it further back. Slightly, like just there. Yeah, that's better. Look at him pouting in the mirror. So guys, the finished look, what do you think? I think it'll look fabulous, Liam. I think this is the new you. Come in, um, so Emily Emmett, thank you so, so much for doing this. Oh, it's been my pleasure. I've enjoyed every second of it. Please, please do follow Emily. Thank you for joining us. Remember to subscribe and like this video. Oh, see, it's stuck me lip gloss. <laughs> Oh, Bye guys, it's Melinda. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>